All right, in this one, we're going to look at non-rigid transformations. These are transformations that cause a distortion. They either stretch or shrink the graph, and they can stretch or shrink vertically or horizontally. If we want to a vertical stretch or shrink, notice we multiply the function by a constant. So let's take a look here. Let's do some graphing and notice what happens when we have a vertical stretch or shrink. Now let me say while this is graphing that probably the best thing to see non-rigid transformations is when we deal with the trig functions. And at the end of this video we're going to look at some transformations on some trig functions. And there you'll be able to see them very well. So notice the red function was x squared. The blue is 2x squared. Notice it's stre uh, shrunk and 1 third x squared stretched. Alright, let's look at horizontal. Now in horizontal, you multiply the x by c, then you substitute it into the function. So again, Let's check out graphing some of these, and there will be some little arrows come up to show us so that you can look at it. Now remember, you can always stop this video and take a good look at it. Back it up, look at it again, whatever you need to do to get this in your mind. This is the harder one, the stretch and shrink horizontally. So let's give it a chance here. It's about to get ready to graph. Now here goes. All right, remember red is x squared. Okay, look what happens when we do 2x then square it and when we do one third of an x and then square it. One of the best functions, as I mentioned to you, is the sine function. You've studied this, I'm sure, in trigonometry. So let's take a look at the sine function here. And we're going to graph this function using several transformations. In particular, we want to use the non-rigid transformations because they're the harder ones to see when uh, you're trying to graph these by hand. So we'll give it a moment here to come up with its graphs. Oh, look, there is a vertical transformation. All right, let's plot another one. Let's see what we're going to get here. Sine of x plus pi over 2. Aha, this is going to be a horizontal uh, translation. In other words, it's going to pick this thing up and it's going to move it to either the left or the right. Which do you think it'll be? Plus, ah, that's going to be a move to the left. Now the original function will be red and the transformed function will be blue. Yeah, look at sine of x, look at the blue one. It moved it to the left relative to the red one. All right, let's go for another one. This time we're going to do one of the non-rigid ones. We'll always start by looking at the sine of x. So in this case, ah, we're going to do a vertical stretch or shrink. If you remember from your trigonometry, that 2 times sine of x is going to make the sine of x twice as tall as regular sine. Let's watch it happen. Aha, see sine of x is red and we stretched 2 sine of x to make it uh, twice as high. Now, let's do our fourth transformation and in this case, let's stretch or shrink this horizontally. Alright, so where's the stretch or shrink going to be for the horizontal? Well, let's give it a look here. Ah, 2 times x. Notice I multiplied the x by 2 and then I'm going to graph the sine of 2 times x. Notice I always look at minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi. It's a good interval when dealing with these transformations. Oh yeah, look, the red one, look how much skinnier 
the sine of 2x. In fact, notice that the period of sine of 2x is pi instead of 2 pi. Again, what's our goal? See these in your head without using your calculator to graph them.